Hey everybody, this is the Camelback Dispatch, and this is the 511 Covert 18. Uh, both great CCW packs. I have not seen the two of them side by side, and when I was searching for one, uh, I was kind of torn between the two, so I ordered them both. Going to return the one that I don't like. Um, I will say real quickly that this is about $100 more, and its availability is not as not as easy to obtain. So um, just cost to value ratio, this easily the winner. Um, there's plenty of videos of this one online, so I'm not gonna really go through it. But um, I will say that the difference in the nylon between the two of these, this one, even though it's a very nice pack, it definitely feels uh, thinner, more flimsy. Um, I really like the, the hidden CCW pocket on this one. I'm not sure why it's got such a limited field for attaching your <clears throat> holster and mags and everything when there's so much space in here, but whatever. Um, that is the only place that you can put a weapon on this bag, which is fine. It, uh, it spins around easily enough and um, it's easy to access, but uh, it doesn't offer you a lot of options. And um, I know that for a lot of people that are in law enforcement, um, this is a valuable component for somebody like me that just is your average Joe six pack and I carry um, when I need to, or when I want to. Uh, there, there's really no value in this section for me. I would much rather have more admin uh, of an area, but um, to each his own. So um, obviously you can see this pack is a bit smaller. I don't know what the dimensions are. You'd have to probably check each site for that. But uh, I have no problem fitting all of my stuff in this that I carry every day. It really does come out quite a bit. You can tell from the bottom of it that the, uh, you know, the base is, is pretty big, so you really can pack it pretty full. Um, this one, obviously, is larger and uh, will hold a bit more. It's got some more options on it. It's got a few options as far as carry. Um, the first one is here. You've got some... Um, Material in here where you can attach, it's like loop material, you can attach your holster mags in this pocket. It's fairly deep, but it's also, it's not real, it's kind of loose, so um, I don't know that I would put a holster in there, but whatever. And this, this kind of expands, so you can stuff jackets and things like that down there. I have a nice pair of headphones that uh, lay flat, so I usually stick those down there when I'm going to the office. Um, the first section here is, is all admin. And, um, you know, pretty standard. I like this little mesh pocket. It's nice. Um, and a deep zipper pocket back here. And this goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag as well. And then your next area is where you can also outfit for a um, concealed carry. I just put my um, in waistband holster in there to show that. Uh, you absolutely can fit a few things on this belt. Um, I think it's designed more for an out waistband holster, but I don't have one, so I just put that in there to kind of show. Um, I usually keep a couple of these pouches with me. It's got some tools and other things in it that I um, just like to have with me on a daily basis. If they're not in my pack, I usually put them in my truck, but um, everything fits fine in here. Uh, this one is great for a laptop, and I really like this a lot better than 511's design. It's just a drop-in, and uh, it's kind of got the hammock style, so your, your laptop is not going to go all the way down and hit the floor. It's suspended nicely, whereas 511's has got, you've got to lift this thing up and kind of get this out of the way, pull this Velcro up, and then drop it down in there. You know, it's alright for daily stuff, but if you're going through TSA or anything like that, it's kind of a pain in the ass. And uh, I don't see the point in this, really. I mean, your laptop's not going to go anywhere. Um, when I was running this, I was noticing that a lot of times it was getting stuck to these mesh pockets and kind of tearing those up. And um, I don't know, I just I wasn't really pleased with the uh, access to the laptop in there. Um, another thing that I didn't care for about the 511 pack was this material that they're using for this padding um, it, it's really kind of see that there it's kind of like easy to get snagged on stuff and um, 
I don't know, it didn't really feel comfortable even through a t-shirt. I mean, it was okay, but um, I didn't care for it just personally all that much. I really much prefer this these D-Fit um, straps that are on the, the Camelback. The foam on here is thicker and um, really feels like some dense memory foam. It's super comfortable. Uh, the way the straps swing on these little D-rings um, really make for a more, I don't know, just feels more of a custom fit so to speak so it's it's really comfortable not impressed at all with this grab handle I don't know why they skimped on this and made it so tiny but um, you know you could wrap it in paracord or you know whatever you want to do but it's I mean it's strong enough it's fine it just feels kind of weak in the hand um, so yeah this, these these uh, shoulder straps are a big selling point for me I really like that and then of course the um, this secret pocket here where you can you know, put a handgun. This is usually where I keep mine. Um, very nice. It's, uh, it's, you're gonna feel it when you wear the pack, especially if you've got it full. This is definitely gonna be pushing in towards your, uh, towards your lower back. Um, I just have a shield in there. You know, if you put a 1911 or something, it's kind of a slim fit uh, type pistol in there. It's probably not gonna be too bad, but if you're putting anything kind of bulky in there, you'll definitely feel it if the pack is full. But the nice thing about that is you have other options uh, where to carry with this, so you're not um, you're not limited to that. So, anyways, um, just kind of a, a comparison between two of the CCW packs that I think are really made well, offer a lot. Uh, again, at the end of the day, this is not worth more than a hundred dollars more than this one. Just it's just not. This is a great pack does all the same things you know there's personal preferences that I have between the two that um, you know that sway me towards this one but uh, you know for a hundred bucks less this is just the way to go right here so um, anyways still an awesome pack if, if the cost was a bit down and, and it was uh, more readily available through uh, you know, different sites and whatnot um, I think it would be a very strong competitor I'd like to see 511 implement some more um, options for CCW holders. Uh, most of their stuff is really geared towards law enforcement right now. And uh, there's such a population of CCWs out there that it would be nice to have some more options for us when we want to carry off body. But all that said, um, both great packs again, and just kind of wanted to throw this up there so anybody who's looking for one like me can kind of see what the comparisons are, what the difference are, how they look, and how they stack up, and kind of some of my opinions. So thanks for watching.